Well, amid all the talk this week about toning down the rhetoric and the deranged hysteria around Donald Trump, you could count on Australia's good old ABC to ignore the message and show absolutely zero capacity for self-reflection. The ABC is the organisational equivalent of a 22-year-old left-wing undergraduate student at an Australian university studying social science. They had no qualms about going right ahead and airing their latest hit piece on Donald Trump. Again, a two-part special feature affair, aren't we lucky? It's going to continue next week. Such objective journalism. Watch. If he's returned to the presidency, he's going to be dangerous. It can literally destroy our democracy. I'm not sure the country will survive it, honestly. I truly believe that we could be on the path to authoritarianism. What are you thinking when the President of the United States is enunciating this idea? Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Mark Willisie is the reporter there, and your ABC, ladies and gentlemen. What an absolute disgrace. What a total piece of rubbish this is. I am sick to death of my tax dollars being used to fund this crap. Something must be done about it. And folks, I really want to make a big clear point here about the ABC. It's not just that they are riddled with left-wing cultural bias so deeply embedded in all their coverage that they can't even see it anymore. It's that their product is actually just really, really bad quality. It is god-awful broadcast journalism. Every time we turn on the radio, the TV, and watch or listen to our ABC, the quality is just appalling. The journalism is poor, the writing is poor, the presentation is poor, and the production. Oh my god. How many cliches can they cram into one story? The shadowy dark silhouette shots, the dramatic music to fill in the fact that there's no actual content or story there. Interviews with only the people that hate Donald Trump. And right after, he was nearly murdered. How is that journalism? And they think they're all clever and artistic and hip with this new shtick of uh, showing the gaffes and the, the, the bits in between the interviews and having people introduce themselves while looking directly to the camera like this. He's somebody who doesn't like to be told the truth. <laughs> yes. I'm Leon Panetta, former chief of staff uh, to President Clinton. I mean, what is that? Like, they think it's cool and so millennial. It's like something a first-year film studies major would think up, and they do it on many of their radio segments too. It is just so tedious. So it's not just that our ABC is deeply culturally biased and politically biased. It's just plain bad. And that would all be fine if we weren't forced to pay for it. Who's going to be the first non-left politician in Australia to have the guts to do what Canadian opposition leader Pierre Polyev has done and come out and announce before the election that they will radically cut the budget of the wasteful national broadcaster? The ABC's Canadian cousin, the CBC, gets $1.4 billion of Canadian taxpayers' money every year. That's actually only slightly higher than the ABC's budget, despite Canada having almost 50% more people than we do. Hmm, point to note. Polyev has hinted that he could cut the CBC funding by a billion dollars to just 400 million. And why not? You can still run a decent basic essential service for that easily with modern technology. Many in the Australian Liberal and National Party say, in typically gutless fashion, oh no, the, you know, the ABC is sacred. We can't say that we would cut its budget dramatically. Actually, the current ABC in the form it is now is not sacred to anyone. Just look at the ratings. The other argument you'll hear from the scaredy cats in the Liberal Party is, oh no, they'll report mean things about us if we say that we're going to cut their budget and that'll damage our campaign. Uh, newsflash, guys, they already campaign against you at every election and every day in between. Wakey, wakey. It's a propaganda machine for leftism and any conservative or classical liberal or libertarian party with any fortitude at all should campaign on cutting the ABC back. How many hospitals can we get for a billion dollars? I think it's about 30 to 40, isn't it? Hope you enjoyed that clip. The Other Side is your weekly analysis of the media's best news and commentary without the woke. 
and we need your support. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube and follow us on X at The Other Side on X. It's totally free, but we could always do with your support. So if you'd like to make a donation, click the super thanks button on YouTube with the dollar sign and the thanks on it right under the video frame below. And if you're watching on YouTube, check out the full episode that this clip came from right here.